Hey kids, guess what? A swarm is coming. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon the hordes will rise. Assuming you live in the more temperate parts of the eastern United States anyway, I'm talking about cicada broods. Cicada broods are huge localized groups of cicadas that only emerge once every 17 years, or 13 years depending on the brood, but same difference. Now only certain species of cicada follow a brood cycle, which is why you still see some every year. But believe me, when your local brood decides to emerge, you will know. At any given time, there are billions of immature cicadas found all across the east coast and midwest. All of them are underground, feeding off of fluid from trees roots, waiting silently for their internal clocks to start chiming in unison. Seventeen years of sucking sap in the dark. Sounds kinda like my childhood, am I right ladies? The only difference is, at least the cicadas get late afterwards. Anyway, once they're ready, the hordes will emerge all at once, around early to mid-June, crawling out from their bunkers and up tree trunks where they molt and spread their wings, leaving behind those shells that I always used to stick onto my shirt as a kid. Yeah, in hindsight, there's probably a reason girls never talk to me. After molting, the cicadas will only have around two months to mate, and after that time, all of the adults will die out, leaving only their eggs behind. Though it may sound strange, the pattern of being everywhere for two months and then suddenly disappearing is seen in many other places in nature. Anyway, eventually the eggs hatch and the larvae make their way underground, where they will live for another 17 years before repeating the cycle all over again. Now there's a total of 15 separate brews in the United States, each of which lives in a different location and follows a different schedule. So whereas West Virginia enjoyed their outbreak this year, Delawareans like me won't see our next plague until the year 2021. I won't give a full list of the various periods around the US, but I will put a link in the description to a table so you can see when your state is expecting. So yeah, if one summer that obnoxious buzzing sound seems even more annoying than usual, either you finally become a cynical bastard just like your father, or your local brood has decided to surface that year. Scientists often refer to the buzzing as a cicada song. At first I thought that was kinda ludicrous, but we do live in a world where vuvuzelas are considered instruments, so I guess anything is possible. Anyway, the noise is only made by male cicadas, with the purpose of attracting females. Also fun fact, if you're outside using power tools during a brood, you might want to wear protection, because the sound of buzzing machinery often confuses the females into swarming around the source of the noise. They're not dangerous, but they're still horny insects the size of your thumb, so unless you're into that, I'd recommend a face mask at least. Also, it should be noted that, while cicada songs are good if you wanna, you know, bang cicadas, they work significantly less well on human lovers. Ding. 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 Ugh, what do you want, Justin? It is three in the morning, don't make me call the cops again. Wait, Sarah, I just want to serenade you. If you're gonna start making that fucking noise again, I swear to Christ. <coughs> I'm at my sister's house, Justin. How did you even find me here? Are you stalking me? No, I just followed the scent of your pheromones. First thing in the morning, I'm filing a restraining order. Oh yeah? Well, I hope the next guy you mate with gives you abdominal fungus. What? What does that even mean? Susan, get the gun! Yipe! Justin, away! <laughs> Anyway, that's all for today. Till next time, I'm Sam Manella, and thank you for watching.